this is such an important day. Today you get your, maybe not your first glimpse, but you get a good glimpse at all of the opportunities that are available for you. And it's an important cause. It's something that has to be a priority. The education of the next generation of Texas leaders lies in our hands, and those leaders are in this room today. When I look out onto the audience and I see you, and you, and you, I see our next Supreme Court, and you, I see our next Supreme Court Justice, our next doctor, our next governor, our next president of the United States. That's what I see when I see you. And the reason that I can tell you this, and that I know that this is what I see, is that I know firsthand the power of education. And I know firsthand the opportunities that await those who pursue a higher education. Today, I proudly stand before you as the state's first Latina Supreme Court Justice ever. This is an honor, this is a privilege that I owe in great part to the fine education I received in Texas schools. In my old high school, back in Houston Second Ward, that's where it all started for me. But I also owe this opportunity to our state's governor, Governor Rick Perry. He's a governor with a vision for Texas. His vision included a judiciary from many walks of life, a judiciary that looked like me. His vision included nuestra gente. That's what his vision included. And so I thank our governor for the opportunity to serve. As I mentioned to you, my journey to the state's highest court began in a very humble place. It's called Eastwood. I'm one of seven. I'm the daughter of Mexican immigrants. And I learned early on that with big dreams, hard work, and education, anything is possible. I learned from a very young age, and I want you to remember today, that education can change lives. It can change history, and it can change your destiny. And it doesn't matter today where you've been or what you've done or what grades you've had. This is the day you can make a change. This is the day you can change your destiny. This spring, I traveled to Lubbock, Texas, and I visited the oldest elementary school in Lubbock, Harwell Elementary. Harwell is about 90% Hispanic. When I got to the school, I was greeted by the principal, Mr. Alvarado. Harwell was the oldest school in Lubbock, but it was the cleanest school. The hallways were sparkling. The, the students had all of their work on the walls along the hallway. It was a beautiful school. And as we were walking down the hallway, there was a custodian, and she was polishing the water faucet, and she was cleaning it, and it was spotless. So I stopped, and I introduced myself. She said to me, Ms. Judge, I'm glad to meet you. I heard you would be here, and I was hoping I would get to ask you a question. She said, I have a daughter. Her name is Star. She's in the fourth grade. Ms. Judge, I'm just a simple woman, and I want to ask you, do you think my Star's dreams can come true? I paused, and I responded. I said, yes, yes, they can. Many years ago, my mother, also a hardworking woman, a simple woman, with only an elementary school education, stood where you stood. She did what you did. But she knew, as you know, and I know as you will pass on to Star, that with hard work, with big dreams, with good choices, 
extraordinary things can happen to ordinary people. Later that day, I spoke to Star. We had a meeting in the auditorium, much like we have here today. I assured Star that her dreams would come true, that she would become a lawyer, that she would be the next United States Supreme Court Justice. And I passed on to Star what my mother and father passed on to me, and what the governor referred to earlier, the key. The key to all of your dreams. The key that will unlock limitless possibilities. The key that will place you anywhere, anywhere you want to be, and that's education. So I hope that as you sit here today and you reflect on what you're going to do with the rest of your life, where you will attend college, where you will pursue your dreams, that you will take the key that we offer you today, and that's education. And I know that with all of the support that's represented here in this room today, Representative Hunter and the Senator Hinojosa, the governor, and everyone else that's here to support you, with all of this encouragement, all of the stars across the state of Texas will know that there are no limits. Yes, we can. Si se puede. Thank you. It's great to be at Moody High School with Governor Perry and also with some great Texan leaders. I guess I have to say, Justice Guzman, that uh, we're pretty fortunate and blessed that Governor Rick Perry believed in these two Latinas to make us the first Latinas in the state of Texas to serve in our positions. Thank you, Governor. You know, one of the greatest things about living in Texas is that here, Life is not as much about where you come from, but rather it's more about where you want to go. If you think about it, I come from the west side of San Antonio, from parents that did not speak English. My father was a gardener, and now I have my own personal parking space in the west side of the capital. <laughs> I have to tell you, I have to pinch myself sometimes. And if you've ever been in, to Austin, I actually exit early on so that I can drive on Congress and just look at this incredible state capital that I work in. And I wish that my parents were alive because I know that they would be so proud. Isn't that what we all strive for? To make our parents proud of us? So here's your opportunity. You've got a room next door that is full of opportunity waiting for you. If you want to go to college, and it should not be if you're going to go, it's where you're going to go. Do not be afraid. This school, your teacher, your principal, everyone here has prepared you, and you are ready to take that step. You know, when the governor asked me to serve as Secretary of State, I was a little scared. I thought, oh my God, can I really do this? But I took that step. And I have to tell you that 22 months later, I am so proud that I was brave enough to take that step and walk into the state capitol and now serve as your Secretary of State. Another thing I want to ask of you, you heard Governor Perry say that we visit with many CEOs of companies that are interested in coming to Texas because we are the great state. We are the number one state to do business in. But the one thing that we need to assure them of is that we're going to have an educated, qualified workforce. And for that, we need you. We need to make sure that we keep attracting business to Texas and assure them that we will have a qualified workforce, that we will have an educated workforce, and we're counting on you. We know that you can do it. And just like Justice Guzman said, I see doctors out there, I see governors, I see secretaries of state out there. But you need to get an education. That is the most important thing that you can do for your families. 
And it only takes one of you in the family to transform the future of your family forever. You know, my grandchildren now, I have three grandsons, and I have to tell you that when I was younger, I did everything to work to make my parents proud. And after my parents left me, I now work to do everything I can to make my son who's sitting in the audience and his sons proud. And that's what we can do. If, if there hasn't been a college graduate in your family, you can do that for your family and change your family forever. Because you know what? In Texas, we can do that. So we're counting on you. You can do it. There, no one can stop you. No one can control your future except you. And I believe that you can do it. Thank you all very much.